guys, how is everyone out there? My name is Sarah Buchan. I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And on today's video, you stay with me is because I have to share something, okay? About the home child care pilot program and home support pilot program, I will just give you some updates. My voice is changed. I have colds. It's hard for me to talk, but you know what, guys? Let me talk something, okay? Because some of you guys are upset, disappointed, you know? The application about the home child care pilot program and home support pilot program, okay? Some of you guys are aware about this program and you might one of them who's sitting down there wasting your time for almost a year. You're expecting your application to get in this year but didn't go through 2023. I know the feeling guys, okay? I'm not the applicant but I have some friends who apply this program didn't go through. They're not happy, you know, and I said, you know what, let me make some video. Home Child Care Pilot Program and Home Support Pilot Program is a pathway to become a permanent resident here in Canada. You come to Canada and work caregiver for two years, then you get your permanent resident, okay? The, the problem is there's a quota, there's a cap, only 2,750 applicants. Either you work Home Child Care Pilot Program and Home Support Pilot Program. Home Child Care is you're going to take care of small children. Home support pilot program, you're going to take care elderly people, um, grandma, grandparents, like with disability, uh, like people need help, assistance, assistance in their home, okay? For home child care pilot program is already full. And I'm so sorry for you guys, like applicants out there outside Canada. You guys try your best. You're even not sleeping to wait for the time because according here in Canada, on January 1st at 9 a.m., Eastern Standard Time, you will be able to apply under the 2023 CAPS for the Home Care Provider and Home Support Pilot Program. And I know you did, right? The problem is, it's very quick. Not even two hours is already full. Your application won't go through. Oh my goodness, I know it's upsetting, right? Because this qualification, guys, those applicants out there, they need to be qualified because you need to apply your permanent resident first right when you're applying for a permanent resident it's so many requirements you have to prove that you are qualified for permanent residence because you are going to apply first for your permanent residence included in your application for this program okay so what happened the home child care pilot program is already full but the home support pilot program is still open so if i were you guys try to if you didn't go through the, to the home child care, if you have the chance to look for another employer for the home support pilot program, try to look for the elderly people and uh, become a caregiver, okay? Because this program is still open, the home support pilot program, okay? Some of my friends completed their requirements for this year. They have their IELTS because the requirements for this, for you guys out there who are new to my channel and listening to this video, if you don't know about this home child care pilot program and home support pilot program, you need the requirements. The most important is you need to have your English examination test. The passing score is five and you need to submit your credentials here in Canada for them to assess that make it sure you are like uh, pass the requirements, okay? And of course, you need to have an employer who are inside Canada, Canadian citizen or permanent residents who are qualified to hire you to bring you here in Canada, okay? That's one of the most important for this uh, program. And uh, okay, so people out there, it's not easy just to have the English exam test and pass. Some people, they even had take two, take three, take five, right? And by the time years, days, months comes, and now they completed all the requirements, and this is the time for them to submit, and then when they try to submit, it's all full. I, I don't know. I am I'm just hoping, guys, that immigration will do something for this because it's not fair. Sometimes we're thinking like it's not fair because we are trying to, we are trying our best to complete the requirements that we are well qualified to go to Canada but then you know it sucks because they won't accept us now because it's full so anyway guys don't be disappointed try another pathways to come here in Canada okay like so many pathways if you cannot make it to the home child care pilot program then try the home support pilot program okay like uh, you're taking care of elderly people you have to assist them in their home 
like so many elderly people are needing help too you know i'm i'm here in canada and i saw in my eyes grandparents parents who need help assistance they need help they want to stay in their home then for you guys canadian here if you want hire people from overseas okay because it's very convenient for you guys too I work as a caregiver before I got my permanent residence, so I know, okay, especially if you have, like, for me, if I want to hire someone to take care of my mom, then for me, I can have, like, you know, time off for myself, then you can do it too. You can hire people from overseas, you know, people from overseas are good people, huh? <laughs> of course, everyone is good people. Anyway, um, yeah, that's that program is not close. And uh, anyway, if you cannot make it through this year, don't be upset, don't be disappointed. As I said many times in my other videos, try another options, try another pathways, guys, and don't be upset and don't be disappointed, okay? So the people out there who wants to apply under the Home Support Pilot Program, this program is still open, guys, okay? Remember, it's still open. So you have the chance to still submit your applications okay submit your applications this home support pilot program is still open but the home child care to take care of small children is closed okay please do your own research go to the official canada website canada.ca and go and check for the home child care pilot program to make it sure you believe what i'm saying okay if you still want try to look for the employer the elderly people the grandparents here in canada for you to get into this program the home support pilot program okay guys it's the same uh, requirements if in case you paid everything but your application didn't go through you are going to refund whatever you pay to the government fees you have to refund and it's refundable guys okay like your permanent resident fees your biometrics your work permit your open work permit and work permit guys okay those are refundable so how you refund guys according to one of my friend who have this experience because she just refund it yesterday uh the payment she said she texts me when you refund the money you pay you click the receipt number okay you have the receipt number with you guys if you pay by credit card and then fill up the names and the address of the owner of the credit card and you will receive in 48 hours that's what she texts me so that's why i said you know what let me share it to people if you didn't make it through try next year 2024 because this is a five-year program next year 2024 is the fifth year of this program is the last year of this program and we are hoping that this program the the immigration will see something and they will do something for this and i hope they will do the extension also so for you guys who don't have this chance to get in you might have the chance for next year and as i said don't be disappointed guys okay there is always another pathway you can try i know you spend a lot of money people out there who have their agencies you cannot refund the agencies uh, because uh, that's their service you're paying their service to help you to do the processing but whatever you pay to the government fee is refundable guys okay it is refundable to know more information about this program guys go visit the official canada website canada.ca and go and read about the home child care pilot program and home support pilot program okay for you to have more knowledge about the application what are the uh, qualifications what are the requirements for this okay the most important for this program is you need to have employer in canada because this program the employer don't need to provide lmia labor market impact assessment it's a direct hire from employer in canada uh, wants to hire people from overseas but of course the employers who are in Canada they need to be qualified they need to know themselves especially financially your income uh, it is important your income at least that you can able to pay your uh, caregivers from outside Canada that you bring here in Canada okay whatever you plan in life to do in life just keep going and never give up okay guys I'll see you for my next video God bless everyone bye